An amnesty knife bin which was placed outside a church in Hackney to get weapons off the street has collected 1,500 of them in just two years. It's more than any other knife bin in London, but some experts who study knife crime question its effectiveness when it comes to keeping Londoners safe. Charlotte Franks reports. Genevieve's son Edvin was stabbed to death in Camberwell six years ago. She campaigns against knife crime and believes knife amnesty bins do make a difference. We've heard quite a lot of turnovers from the bins and um, places like Westminster, there are lots of knives from Westminster bins and the Hackney bins and it seems as if it's working. This bin at St John at Hackney Church has had 1,500 weapons handed in so far, more than anywhere else in London. It's part of a scheme across the capital involving 13 boroughs. These are the sort of th things that you find a, a lot of people are carrying. Easily concealable, not, not so easily concealable that one, but these small ones, these are the ones that are the problem. The parish priest here says he's taken too many teenage funerals inside the church from victims of knife crime. This knife bin is, is incredibly well used because it sits right on the boundary V5, V8 and E9. The knife bin itself has no CCTV coverage, so no one can actually see anyone putting uh, knives in there. There were 11,375 reported knife crime offences in London last year, compared to over 14,000 the year before, a decrease of 20%. But despite this fall, critics say amnesty bins don't make a great deal of difference. There's very little evidence to suggest that knife bins in and of themselves have an impact on levels of violence. That's much more rooted in social conflicts, in poverty and marginalisation. But if you want to try and get dangerous weapons off the street, sure, let's have knife bins, but let's not assume that that's just going to solve the problem on their own. Campaigners insist the bins do work and they plan to build on the success of this one by approaching more churches in future. Charlotte Franks, BBC London News. Now a look at the weather for tonight.